Yo, Dacia Hao, Wu Su Anton, and today I'm gonna taste some bubble tea. I haven't consumed any bubble tea for a while now, so my cravings are pretty, pretty high. My mom is going to the dentist in Copenhagen, so I thought it would be a good idea to go to Copenhagen with her. And while she's at the dentist, I'm gonna taste some bubble tea. And I'm gonna rate it from Bu Hao Tu, Tu Tu, to middle, and to Wa Kao Chao Hao Tu, Tu Tu. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and I've heard there's even like a Taiwanese bubble tea shop in Copenhagen, so my expectations are pretty, pretty high on that one. But um, let's get it and let's say some bubble tea. All right, I'm finally in Copenhagen and just to make it more awkward for myself, I chose to film this part in the central of Copenhagen. I mean, I just need to get used to it and then I'm ready for filming in Taiwan later in life. So. Let's go to the first uh, bubble tea place now. All right, so the first bubble tea shop that I'm gonna, is called uh, Tea Time. It's gonna be pretty, pretty interesting to taste their bubble tea because I've just been craving bubble tea for a while now. I just need to drink the bubble tea because it's pretty, pretty high rated. Um, I'm more excited to taste the uh, bubble tea from Taste of Taiwan but uh, I'm gonna do that later. Let's go to tea time now. Det er så langt siden jeg har smagt den nemlig. So this is the first um, bubble tea that I've had in a while, probably like three months. So I'm really excited to taste this. It's with uh, mango milk tea. And uh, yeah, I just think that I should give it a taste. So let's go. It's really good. So I'm really into the sweet side. I would rate this Wakao Tao Hao Tzu. It's really, really, really good. And goddamn, I've been craving bubble tea for a while. So, <laughs> I mean, it's nice to finally get some good, good bubble tea again. Yo, yeah, Thomas. I, I know that he can uh, talk Mandarin, and I want him to help me to say I would rate it 9 for 9 out of 10. So, how can I say that? Okay. It was pretty, pretty good. I would rate it about like 9 for 9 out of 10. So yeah, it was quite expensive. It cost me 50 Danish crowns, which is about 235 new Taiwanese dollars. But yeah, I would say it's, it's worth it. It's actually really, really good. So yeah, that was my first bubble tea in like two or three months. So now I just want more. So let's go to the next one. Yeah, so actually there's just a um, bubble tea shop right next to a uh, tea time shop. It's called Hugo Chi. So let's try that now. Yo, what up? I'm with Hao Shu. And we're gonna taste some bubble tea and some fruit. Ice cream. Yeah, iced tea. Ice tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do it. You wanna taste yours first? Yes. Okay. I have giant fruit tea uh, with ice cream inside. Oh. Okay, let me try first. Mmm. Is it wow, how chow how chi? Or is it wow? Wow, chow how chi. Too good. Too good. Too good. Okay, I'm gonna try my brown sugar bubble tea. That's probably one of my favorites in Taiwan. So let's go. That's a really classic one. It's good. Good? I would I would say it's it's really good. I would rate it about like probably eight or nine. How can I say that in the Mandarin? Eight or nine? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> so that means that if you have a 10, 
yeah. that you give an 8 or 9. Okay, let's take it like in the... Let's split it up and yeah. let's say it like together. Yeah. A. A. Ba. Ba. Nine. Nine. Jo. Jo. And ten. Shi. Shi. Mm -hmm. That got some Chinese on. That was uh, easy. I'm gonna pass my Chinese exam for sure. <laughs> yes. But yeah, it was really, really good. Would you rate yours? I would give a nine. Nine. Okay. Well, nine from five. I'm gonna give my like probably eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is our sure and she's super, super awesome. So, really nice to meet you. Yeah, you and too. In Denmark. I hope that you guys are gonna have fun here this year. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank Maybe. you so much. I wish you have a really wonderful trip to travel around the Asia. Yeah. It's, That's awesome. It's gonna be yeah. awesome for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Nice. Thank you. I had a really, really long conversation with um, the three people that I just met. They were just so awesome, so sweet. That was a really, really nice interaction because I feel that filming in public right now is pretty, pretty awkward. Yeah, it's nice to, so to talk with somebody that's actually really, really nice. That also helped me <laughs> to talk uh, Mandarin. But yeah, I'm going to another um, bubble tea shop called uh, The Taste of Taiwan. So that's gonna be pretty, pretty interesting. I have a really, really high expectation for that place. But um, the place that I just was at called uh, Hugo Chi, it was I, th I think that the um, bubble tea that I got was okay. I didn't like it as much as the um, tea time place. Of course, I got some different variations, but yeah, I, I was just not a big fan of the, the brown sugar one. So um, yeah, that's too bad. But um, let's go to the taste of Taiwan. Okay, so I got two taste of Taiwan, and this is a brown sugar uh, milk tea. I really want to compare it um, from the last place because I didn't really like it there. So I hope this brown sugar bubble tea is gonna be good. So let's try it. I really, really like it. It's kind of like more sweet in a way, but it's just like not too much. So I would say it's wakao cao hao too. I would rate it about like probably 10 out of 10 almost. Just like a note, I feel that this um, bubble tea from yeah, Taste of Taiwan tastes quite similar to the one that I got in uh, Taiwan with Ian and Eric. So it brings back memories. I'm very, very excited to go to Taiwan again and first bubble tea there and compare this to the ones in Taiwan. It's really, really good. It's probably the best one that I've tasted so far in Denmark. So yeah, I'm gonna miss this place when I go back to Moon. But I've had enough of drinking bubble tea for a day. I haven't consumed that much sugar in a while, so now I just need to consume some meat and some sugar too because of the uh, barbecue sauce. Let's dig in, let's go. I just got home. I think I have diabetes from the, um, the amount of sugar that I've consumed today from the uh, boba tea. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, it was actually a really, really nice trip to Copenhagen. It was pretty pretty awkward because you guys know that i'm not used to film in public so it was a pretty big like shit how how can i say it um i really had to like think about something else when i was filming because yeah i'm not used to filming in public and there were just like so many people in copenhagen especially in the like center where all the stores are so I needed to get that I don't give a fuck mindset. So, um, but yeah, I actually think it went pretty well. Um, I think that I will try to do more. Like, I think that I would like to film at some places where there are more 
people next time and maybe not ma make it as awkward as I've made today. But yeah, it was um, a pretty, pretty nice experience and I just had to do it like uh, the Duterman are saying. And I just, I'm home now and I would just like to rate the um, bubble tea again that I've uh, drink today. I would say like, of course, I didn't try the same bubble tea at, at all of the places, but um, top three, I would say that the Hugo uh brown sugar milk tea was probably uh, the one that I didn't like the most. It was still good though, but I don't know. There was just like something about it that I didn't like. Yeah, I would rate it in the bottom, but it was still really, really good. I would probably give it around like seven out of 10. And for the tea time one, I would rate it number two because um, I haven't tasted that flavor before, but it was really, really good. Uh, that was the um, flavor that they recommended to me at the place and I really, really liked it. Um, so yeah, I would rate that at number two. It was really, really good. And for the number one pick, it was the Taste of Taiwan. The one that I got there was also a brown sugar milk iced tea. I haven't really tasted that many iced tea. Fucking iced tea, what am I talking about? And for the number one pick, I would 100% put the um, Taste of Taiwan in there. I got the uh, brown sugar boba tea. It was really, really good. I haven't really tasted a lot of like different variations of the boba tea, but I would say like my favorite right now is the brown sugar boba tea that I got from Taiwan. I would say that the um, taste of Taiwan store, the taste was pretty similar. I really, really liked it. And I would probably rate it about, yeah, let me think. Probably, yeah, like nine or 9.5. I just think like I need to go to Taiwan again and taste the boba tea there because I can't really like remember the taste too much. But in my head, I just think that the boba tea that I got here from Taste of Taiwan tasted pretty much the same as the one that I got in Taiwan with Ian and Eric. It was pretty, pretty fun today, but um, I'm probably gonna go down and work out now, so I'll see you guys in the next video.